Okay, so an important point to consider. Um, your teachers generally give you problems um, where your past um, engagement with the homework would allow you to do really well on exams. So for example, let's say um, you were doing the homework assignments and you did problem number. Let me scroll back for you. Number 21, and you studied that. And then you got to the exam and the teacher gave you problem number 23 and you haven't seen 23 before. Your experience with 21 should help you do 23. All right, so what I wanna do is go to the whiteboard and I'm gonna do 23. But again, my experience with prior problem is gonna help me with that, all right? It's still on the whiteboard, believe it or not. And let's go to that. And I'm gonna write down what I did, if you can recall. And, you know, I, I know the series, I want me to determine if it's convergent or divergent. And I'm gonna write down AN now. And I'm basically gonna do the same thing I did prior. And what do you see over here? Well, this is gonna be N plus two and then N. You know, did I write down AN before? Let me put my work over here. I realize I just made an error here. This should be, um, these should be Ns, but that, it's, it, it's incidental. Let's see. So it's N plus two and then N plus one. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is use partial fractions like I did last time. And this is gonna be what? I don't know. Over N plus, I don't know, over N plus one. And this should be equal to N plus two over N, N plus one. And I guess this is an exam question. This is what the teacher would want to see written down. At least I believe the teacher would want to see this written down. I'm seeing n plus 2 equals a n plus 1 plus b times n. I multiply both sides by the LCD. And then I pick an easy n value, and n equals 0 is easy. I would get 2, and then I'd get a. I pick another easy value. Minus one's easy, and what do you get? You get one, and then you get minus b. So I know that a equals two, and I know that b equals minus one. So I'm gonna write that down for you now. n plus two, n, n plus one. Let's be careful. So what do you have? Uh, two over n minus one over n plus one. All right, let's write that down again. And that's a sum now. I'm gonna write down Sn now, big N. And looking back, I'm starting at one, right? So let's write this down now. Just like I did before. I kind of remember, right? So it's going to be 2 over, we're starting at 1, 1, minus 1 over 2. Let's put the next term down, just like we did before. 2 over 2. No, I'm not going to simplify that. Minus 1 over 3. Let's keep going. Plus 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Let's write another one down. 2 over 4 minus 1 over 5. And now I'm going to do this yada, yada, yada. And where are we going to go to? Towards the end. And I'm doing, um, you know, towards um, some finite number n there. So what would you get over there? Let's be careful about this. You're going to get 2 over n minus... 1 over n plus 1. Let me just look back over that. Yeah, we did okay. Let's go backwards. 2 over n, let's see, minus 1, minus 1 over big N. 
let's write this one 2 over n minus 2 minus 1 over big N minus 1. All right, I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking for a pattern that I can write this down. Sorry about that. And let's see what I see here. Let's get my red pen out. I think I'm seeing something. And these are fine. I can rearrange them if I like. Just see if I get a pattern from it. I bet you realize there's something here. And let's let's take a look at the towards the end too. I'll write them down in a moment, by the way. So I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. And I bet you'd be seeing something over here too, right? Let's see if we can write that down now. And take your time. So what do I see? I see two. That's right here. The next term, what do I see? Plus one half. Plus one third. Plus one quarter. Plus one fifth. Plus Yada, yada, yada. Let's go towards the end. What are you seeing in the end there? Well, let's see, it looks like one over n. And then there's another guy there. It's one minus one over n plus one. I'm gonna rearrange. This is still Sn, by the way, uppercase n. I'm gonna say two minus one over n plus one plus, I'm gonna write this down now as a summation. And let's write this over here, one over, I'm gonna say J, and I'm gonna say J starts at two and goes to big N, all right? And what am I doing now? Well, one thing I wanna make sure you, you're looking at the key and you're seeing that in the key. But what I'm gonna do now is this. I'm gonna let the big N go towards infinity. And what do I notice? This guy here is a divergent harmonic series, just like we saw before. What do we know now? The original series is divergent, and let's write that down. So the original series is two plus the sum j equals one to infinity, j plus two over j, j plus one is divergent. Okay, let me see if there's anything else in the key. Nope, nothing else, thank you.